Hi guys, I'm Jill David, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about Camp David. No, I'm not talking about the presidential retreat where the president and the first family go on vacation. I'm talking about my family. We have a family of four. It's me, the mom, and I've got two kids, one son, one daughter. Our son is Lincoln, he just turned 10, and our daughter is Kenya, who's 11. And then I've got my awesome husband. I call him the commander in chief because of course we're Camp David, but that's Luke. We'd like to welcome you to our family and let you know a little bit about us. First off, why am I doing this vlog? A lot of changes have happened in our camp and they've been pretty significant. It's almost to the point where I don't recognize Camp David anymore. It's changed and it's been unusual. Two years ago, we relocated from Algonquin, Illinois to Denver, Colorado. Now, Denver is not um, a foreign place to me. I was born and raised in Colorado on the Eastern Plains and on a cattle ranch. So I grew up out in the middle of nowhere, um, but I do know Colorado and I know what it has to offer. One of my biggest life changes happened when I became a mom. And that happened in Illinois. I saw my kids make friends in Illinois. We made family friends in Illinois. We had friends that were going through the same life stage as we were as parents, having newborns, having two kids. I was trying to figure out how to be a stay-at-home mom. And then when the kids got into school, it was a whole different world. Um, we did send them to public school. And I was highly involved and I really enjoyed it. Um, I got involved in PTO and was at the school a lot trying to help out with school functions and doing a lot of things that I really enjoyed. Watching the kids grow up, being with friends there, and our friends in Illinois became our family. We were being parents of newborns, toddlers, for the first 10 years in their lives all in Illinois. And two years ago, that just changed. And I'm just now being able to sit down and look back and see all the changes that we've gone through and ask myself, what is it that I'm missing? What is it that we need to bring back to the table? Because some different things are going on here. So when we moved from Illinois back to Colorado, Kenya had just turned 10, Lincoln was eight, soon to be nine, and it was hard. That night that the movers had come and packed up 10 years of our life in that house, 10 years of memories of the kids running around in their diapers, going up and down the staircase, so many things happened. It was a hard and rough change. We sat on that staircase in our old house in Illinois together as a family and we took one last picture and we looked around and we said goodbye. And as I was sitting there in that picture, memories were going through my mind of who we were as Camp David at that point. And one of the things that stood out the most was the dinners that we had every night around our table. It was my goal that every night my husband came home from work that a dinner would be ready and the four of us would sit down and we would talk about our days. Even when the kids were really little, we would still have conversations with them, just letting them know that we were a unit, that family's important. Some of my best memories, Lincoln, when we were at dinner one night, he had been at preschool and he learned how to spell his name. L-I-N-C-O-L-N. Kenya, one night we decided to tell her, Kenya, we're getting a new car. And little did we know she was going to have an issue with that. Car. No, I don't want a different car. Honey. And plus, I'll walk this home and I won't even go through the garage. We have to get another car. Mm -mm. I'm I, sorry. And plus, I know the password. I don't want you to be sad about this. I want you to be happy. It was hard for her to say goodbye to our old car. But we've got so many good memories and times together as a family there. Now we've relocated. That's not been the only change in Camp David, though. The kids are no longer toddlers. Me parenting them that way is not working anymore. Not only did we rip up our camp, I'm trying to figure out, okay, 
I was moving along this road. I was a new mom when Kenya was born, trying to figure it all out. And I feel like when she hit about the age four and Lincoln was three, I was getting pretty comfortable of being a parent and figuring those things out. All the things that I thought I was doing really good at as a parent were not working anymore. My kids are not in that young stage anymore. The type of parenting that they need now coming up on adolescence, I've got to change my style of parenting. Just like Camp David is going to change its style of what family is because we're in a new location. We're in a new stage of life. So that's why I thought this vlog would be an awesome chance for us to be able to document it, look back and say, man, those times were hard, but we still had fun. Right now, I feel like Camp David has run amok. We are crazy all over the place. There is no structure. We haven't even set up base camp. When we first moved here to Colorado, we were in a house that we only had leased for 18 months because we couldn't find a house that we fell in love with. We're gonna go into this house. We're going to live here for a while. Who knows, we might extend the lease. 18 months is not very long and it goes by fast. 18 months came up this July and Luke and I were looking at the fact that we were going to have to move again. We have relocated just in the last month to our new house here in Colorado. We are in boxes again. We are unpacking one more thing that we added to our plate just as we were getting ready to transition from Illinois to Colorado homeschool. And so that change happened along with Luke taking a new job. So lots of chaos, right? But here's the deal. We're Camp David, we're back in Colorado, and we're gonna start figuring this out. And it starts now.